Rubio, you are chasing a story about the killer commute. New Yorkers have some of the highest commuting times in the country, and it might be really doing some serious health damage. What do you got? There are a handful of studies out there that'll try to convince you that commuting will kill you. So I wanted to check it out for myself. So what I did is I took the train in Hamilton with Dr. Simone. He's former President Reagan's doctor. So let's see how stressful commuting makes me. I had him take my blood pressure and asked him point blank. Dr. Simone, commuting can kill you. Well, right? it decreases lifespans in some women, sure. Okay, We're commuting so for more than an hour and a half a day. Yes, it's high. We have to get that blood pressure down. Let's get that. Uh oh. Different things that can stress you out on the commute can shorten your lifespan and cause you serious health problems like losing sleep. Community also increases cholesterol levels and being overweight too. While we were on the train, I spoke to a guy who actually got a quick consultation by Dr. Simone right there and then. I'm tired really quick. <laughs> okay, so Dr. Simone, he says he gets tired really quickly. Yeah, usually people who commute the longest period of time have trouble sleeping. And Dr. Simone said, yeah, that's actually very typical. So then we, we continued talking, and he said that the health aspects, like a lot of people being overweight. The community also increases cholesterol levels and being overweight, too, because you're not devoting any time to a grocery store and preparing food. You're actually eating faster foods and unhealthier foods in restaurants and or less time for exercise. And we talked about how in the waiting room, what people tend to do, and I'm sure a lot of us are guilty of this, is basically reserving the seat next to you and putting stuff on it as if somebody else was sitting there so no one will sit next to you. When cortisol levels go up because of crowding on a train, not the number of people, but people crowding into so you. people usually don't want to be touched. No, they, they, they don't like to be touched. Space. They want space, yes. He said that long commutes can also cause a lot of divorces and raise the divorce rates. I don't want to debunk all of what he said, but like, think about it. Talking about being overweight just because you ride the train, it seems like that's counterintuitive because if you drive, you're doing less work. When you're taking the train, you have to walk to the train, you have to walk to your work after that. You think that you're getting more exercise than just sitting in your car and commuting and being angry by yourself. Well, if, if, you're, if, you're, if you got a little more than a 90 minute commute on the train, you're just sitting there on the train that whole time. And people tend to eat a lot, they don't exercise as much. I mean, he's the professional, he's the doctor.